On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, have you seen what's going on with a Kato? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles! Or maybe this video will be taken down. What? Here's the thing, for whatever reason, every time I try to review a Kato, a Kato, tomato, tomato, um, YouTube flags them as made only for K-I-D-S, which is crazy because I'm an adult and I absolutely love a Kato and I know a lot of other adults are like totally into it and all ages really are into this because it's quite fun. It's like Rock'em Sock'em Robots, which, which has been around forever. So for whatever reason, if you are looking at past uh, archives and can't find certain Akaido reviews, well, that's why they keep getting flagged. And now I have a backlog of older videos that I need to somehow reinvent or something to get them back up without being flagged. Very frustrating. But we've got a Kato themed turtles now, which just opens the doors for all sorts of possibilities of themed a Kato warriors. Just think of what they could possibly do. Uh, but today it's turtles. You've got the four classic turtles, four villains, plus a battle arena. So perfect. Perfectly timed for a new movie also coming out this later in summer. So let's cowabunga dudes these up. I'll try to be as boring as possible so that hopefully this doesn't get flagged because I really think this is for everyone. So let's begin the battle of the turtles, Akedo. Squirrel, Squirrel stampede. stampede. Okay, I got pretty excited and already opened a couple packs. You may have saw that over on Instagram Reels. I just had to see how these turtles were gonna kick. So we have the Leo and Rocksteady pack. There's Leo, Rocksteady's already been split struck. And then we have the Raphael versus Krang pack, double pack versus pack. Raphael right here and Krang over here. Maybe we first check on Rocksteady and Leo over here. Actually having just a little bit trouble with Leo, I may have to return and exchange. His uh, controller is very sticky. Sometimes I get him locked down, but he's in a forever kicking pose. Pretty good kick attack. Look at that, I have to shake it around to get poor Leo to work. There's his kick move though, in slow-mo and almost away. So Leo is here, and then, well, let's build up Rocksteady. Rocksteady are looking good. And he has his bat and a sewer cover shield. So he should be a pretty tough opponent with that bat. Now these two and everything is basically designed after the 90s turtles with maybe a little more aggressiveness added to their faces. They look a little angrier, so updated slightly to today's standards of aggression, but still very much a classic 90s style. Curious if we will see maybe new molds for the new movie later on in the fall, or if we will just see this series as is. Probably just this series as is, but this is kind of what I like to see in Turtles, your standard 90s look. It's a good torchbearer for the series, as there are so many different reboots. I, sometimes it's best just to go back to the beginnings, or you could go even farther, I guess, and have them in black and white. So. I don't know if I really should attack with these. I'm so worried everything I'm going to do with this video is going to get stumped and taken down and flagged and whatever. The curse of a Kato at Squirrel Stampede. So right now, I'm just kind of showing what they can do in a little bit of a slow motion thing. Leo's got that awesome high kick. His foot is always up high. And I guess he's gonna be really attacking with these swords. They flip up and move about. Rock steady again with that bat. He could just like plummel poor Leo right in the Right in the head there, look at that. Uh, and Leo would have a good kick attack. Maybe taking the shield of Rocksteady. And of course, Leo is sticky, so I couldn't really do a battle with this one anyway. Let's check out Raph and Krang next. There's Raph, always a good one to see. Get Raph focused in. And Krang on his controller pad. Controller pads are basically the same thing that we always see. Uh, just colorful uh, turtle green with their color a bandana on the controller, which is a nice touch. And there's Krang. So Raph has got the double side weapon going. He's standing, unlike Leo, no kick going on. So he's basically more of a regular performer in the arm, arm movement of trying to attack. This arm feels very, okay, it's gonna kinda clock up this way into an elbow pose. So there's a quick run there. And then Krang, there's Krang, got his little a guy inside the android suit there with the cool weaponry, an axe weapon and a saw there. And he's kind of the same thing with arms that kind of flail out though. The arms will flail, uh, whereas these arms kind of flail up and down. His are moving out and in. And so then they would go in for a, a pretty cool battle. 
I love the look of this Krang. Always my favorite, the Android Krang. Uh, just such a funny face. Wow, Raph would get a nice side chuck in there on his head, and Krang would get a pretty good stomach punch with that axe right into Raph's uh, spot there for split striking them. And then obviously split striking the same thing as always and knocking them apart. So those are those two. So those two priorly opened, and now let's see something in pack still. We've got Michelangelo versus Pack of Bebop. Kind of fun how they've packed each one with a villain. So you have to pick up four packs to get all four turtles and then all four villains. Probably a safer way of keeping all the villains being uh, shelf warmers. Of course, you could skip out on the Leo versus Rocksteady pack and then just go right to the battle arena, get another Leo and a Shredder, then you wouldn't have a rock steady though. But it's looking like the Leo in the battle arena is a standing Leo versus a kicking Leo, so that way you get a standing Leo piece. So they're all different. Each set is worth picking up if you are a true Turtles craze fan like I can be. So let's see these two out of pack. And out. Oh my gosh, Mikey's chucks are huge. Look at the size of these things, they're enormous. They are going to plummel. I wonder if they had to just keep doing test runs on Mikey and the only way to get him to win was to build up these chucks, launching him on his pad. Those are enormous. Those are gonna swing, ow, they hurt my finger. They're attacking, ouch. Oh my gosh, they're a little bit too extended. You gotta like play flat or you're gonna just get, just knocked down yourself. Bebop here with a giant screw weapon, screw laser weapon, looks pretty authentic to character. I think he had one of those at some point. There's Bebop and his weapon probably has that extension spike there on the little laser gun that's gonna bat back and forth and then a fist too. All of these painted really well too. Bebop's always a very colorful character with his warthogness and mohawk and glasses and all the things, accessories onto his body. So they've done well and the paintwork of these characters. So if you're here to fight these two, ouch, watch out for Mikey. This is incredible reach. This might be the most reach I've ever seen on a warrior before. I don't remember anything so large. Ow, coming off, it just keeps hitting the top of my finger. Rocksteady, also with some fun reach. So these two are pretty special and fun. Mikey's always a favorite because of his colorful personality. And then the final versus pack, we've got Donatello versus Baxter Stockman. They've really gone with all classic characters as they can think of. All the main classic characters as they could think of. This is a good color choice pack with Donnie in the purple and then Baxter with the purpleness too. So they match pretty well together. Let's see these two out. Oh, and it looks like Donnie's another kicking turtle. We'll see how Donnie compares to Leo here in their stances. Look at Baxter. Baxter's probably the most buggy, obviously. So there is Donnie, also with the kick. So how does he work with Leo? How, how close are these two in builds? Obviously different weaponry, but I have a feeling they're probably the same mold, just repainted. <laughs> Gotta get these guys to stand. Yeah, they're probably the same mold, just repainted, and then switched weapons out. The way they make these sometimes, they just put a hole in their weapon hand like they have there with Leo, or Donnie, excuse me, and then they can switch weapons out if needed be for character choices. So these two are basically the same, uh, only obviously going to perform way different because uh, we've got the bow staff for Donnie and we've got the katanas for Leo there. I like the kicking ones too, just a little bit different. So, you know, you gotta have a couple kickers in your team. And I like the fact that all the turtles' bases control pads are matched to the turtle color, so you'll always know what turtle goes on what pad? Well, I'm having trouble getting Donnie to sit right right now. Let's try Baxter. Hope we can get Baxter going. It would be a shame if I had two controllers that were kind of off. Okay, we got Baxter going. Baxter with this, all oh, the arm reach, the buggy, the double quad arm spinning. They rotate on the point of shoulder, so they can be pretty lethal. And again, just great paint. We've got this bright orange fuzzy uh, bee, or not bee, uh, fly head. I have bees on the brain from this weekend. And yeah, he's got a good, just a good all around crazy attack. But how can I get, what's wrong here? Let's test what is wrong, the controller or Donnie? Okay, I can get Donnie locked down to a Leo for now. And maybe there's something going on. I gotta check on this base of the pad though. So we'll check that out in a second. Okay, so there we go. 
There's Baxter versus Donnie, and Donnie's gonna be a similar attack. Oh, I put him on the bad Leo pad, so he's not gonna work very well. Uh, gotta pull that in. Little bit of tightness on this one. Little bit of tightness. So he's gonna be doing kicking attacks, and Baxter will be doing spinning, spinning arms attack. Both of these just look really cool though. So there is your collection of versus packs. Probably put the turtles over here. So there's Donnie, Raph, Mikey with that crazy extension on those chucks. Leo versus Krang. We've got Bebop over here. Rocksteady with that awesome bat and Baxter here. So there's your four options or your, yeah, your four options for versus packs. Get a turtle, get a bad guy, you're set to go. You just need one pack to really play. But obviously if you wanna collect all turtles, look for all four. And then finally, finally, if you want the big one, the big set, the Shredder with Leonardo, there is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle Arena Legends of Akedo. Pretty much, I believe, reskinned from previous battle arenas. We've seen a couple over the years. It's pretty time tested, works pretty well. 35 battle sounds, couple warriors included. This would also be a fun way to start if you weren't going to get any other of the versus packs. You could just go large with the battle arena. Got some great backdrops, turtle style, and of course you've got Shredder. Just thinking, we don't have a um, Master Splinter. That would be something would be fun to see, a Master Splinter. Usually they seem to include him in a round, but I guess you couldn't really have him fighting a turtle in the versus pack. That would be odd, so I see why they left him out. Well, let's see this out, see what it looks like all skinned up on the table. And lots of stuff to uncover. Wow. Oh, poor Shredder. Shredder has already had his neck snapped on the surface of the arena. Look at that. He's just broken necked there. We'll have to get him set back up. Lots of pieces though to place together. I believe this is pretty much a reskinned battle arena. So cool. I love the Turtles arcade. I even have a one up player, or what do you call it, arcade up in our garage for a Turtles. I got it over Christmas and we played it all the time and I bring it out for parties and stuff. So I love the original Turtle arcades. So this is just cool. It feels like a Turtle arcade. It's a perfect match. We've got our controllers and let's help Shredder out here. Shredder actually has a fabric cape on to him. I love when they have little extra features like that. And then there is our Leo, our non-kicking Leo. And I suppose this would be your better Leo of the group, a non-kicking Leo standing there ready to fight. He's got one arm that swings out with a katana, one arm that swings back and up with a katana. I bet the shell feature gives them some protection in battle, wouldn't you think? And there is Shredder. Shredder looks kind of funny, actually, with his eyes. Look at them. They're kind of like... I don't know, they're with the mask and eyes. He's looking kind of silly almost, I don't know why. Uh, but he also has the reach out arms, similar to what was that, Krang kind of had the reach out arms with his classic shredder, shreddering spikes, and then a fabric cape again. So, pretty good character piece there. And so building this up, what do we do? Each of these little pads should lock down into battle. You want the circle part in there, and see if we can Snap one of these down, there's one, and the other. They kind of are made to slide in and out of the battle arena. It's a nice little extra feature. There's both, so see how you can kind of spring them out and then attack, pull back, attack. Uh, extra little turtle shell joystick there for support, and then this piece should lock in. I think it slides in nicely. Slides over into place. Feels a little different than before. Did I get it? Doesn't feel right. It should just slide a little more. Oh, this is a removable stand. That's kind of fun. Do we have those last time? I like that. Kind of like a winner circle in a way. You can place your characters on a stand. That's pretty neat. But how are we going to get this on there feeling right? Maybe that's it. Maybe it just kind of locks in there. I guess that's right. And then we've got screens to choose from. What screens do we have? We have like a Technodrome Akedo pad with Krang in the back. That's pretty exciting. They have little pull tabs to pull them. And then on the reverse side, we've got the turtles layer in the sewer with a little bit of art there on the back wall. Pretty nice. And there is another card to look at. Oh, there's the outer Technodrome right there. That's a pretty fun one. I may just go with that one. 
kind of like that. And then we've got just the streets of New York with the turtle van and uh, the backdrop of New York there. So all of these are pretty neat. This one's pretty fun though too. Let's do the, um, let's do this one. And how do we slide these in? Just right through the side here. Slide one into the backdrop. Okay, feels, feels a little different than the last one. I don't know why. So now we can place our turtles up here. We can get Shredder onto his pad. These don't match their color like the other ones do because you're gonna be switching out everybody everywhere. So I guess it doesn't matter as much. Okay, oop, Shredder locked down and split struck. There we go. And let's find Standing Leo, of course, who came with the pack. Where did he go? There he went. Let's drop him down so we're ready to go. So there's our setup, and you can see, you can get in close with an attack. Leo's got a nice sword attack, and Shredder, a nice spiky shredding attack, of course. And both of these controllers are working nice, nice and smooth so far, with a lot of reach for pulling out and pulling back in and around. So on and off, right now we're off, we'll do a quick, quick run, I don't want to do the sound effects too much because of, you know, that darn flagging issue. I don't know if that's going to be a problem or not. And guess what? We need to install batteries. I did not expect that. I thought they would be installed. So give me a minute here. I believe it's four double A. Let's find out here. Hang on. Okay, indeed Lee running off three, only three double A batteries, not four, which is different. We'll give this a try this time. There we go, there's our Kato music. Feels a little turtle-like, maybe. And you can see, we got a lot of sounds, mostly it feels more pointed at turtles. Oh, there's a shredder sound. And now we can really go full blown attack. And Leo gets the win. Leo gets the win. So I really don't want to go too much farther with sound effects again. I'm worried about getting flagged. The last two videos of Akato had to be dropped. So I just want to show them, I just want to show how cool they are and then maybe we can come back to them and try some other things. But that's the Battle Arena, a great setup for a nice looking Leo and of course Shredder and just all the sounds, just a better full arena. Uh, these controllers are a little heavier. I love the, the joystick, you can grab them by the, the round of your finger and really give them a pull and really give some fun attacks. So that is the Battle Arena, totally cool looking. Oh, check it out, I got Donnie fixed somehow on his pad finally. So Donnie is working out just as you would expect. He is kicking perfectly in a nice attack, so I got that controller working, yay! The only controller I really have difficulty it was with this Leo. I think, sadly, this might just be, might be something I'm going to have to return and exchange. Because uh, it's just jammed, but that's okay, it happens, it happens. But what a collection, a turtle, I think these have been a lot of fun. It's so cool to see something else themed with a Kato. The options are really limitless now if we are going to see other brands jumping in on a Kato. You know what would be kind of fun? It's like a Gujitsu a Kato. They could totally do a crossover uh, with their Gujitsu characters from Moose or even a Treasure X a Kato. So they could totally do a crossover there. That would be fun to see someday. But that has been a fun collection of a Kato turtles. If I do a bracket, Keep an eye out for a turtles bracket. Maybe I'll do that uh, for a total fight. We can see who is the strongest, but this is the collection out there. They've been pretty fun. And that's the turtles in the Akato universe. Pretty radical, don't you think? If you like today's video, please give us a squike, squirrelibe, squamit, your favorite Akato turtles, or what other property would you love to see in a Akato crossover? There's so many possibilities, right? Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.